My BFI player choice this week is a strange and wonderful documentary from Jeannie Finley, the maverick talent behind such intriguing works as Sound It Out and Seahorse, films which share the same refreshing mix of insight, wit and empathy that characterise her 2015 critic's favourite, Orion, the man who would be king. Now you can't judge an apple by looking at a tree. You can't judge honey by looking at a bee. Can't judge a daughter by looking at a mother. Can't judge a book by looking at a cover. Now I can't... There are plenty of people who think the king is still alive, and every once in a while someone claims they've actually seen yeah. him. In fact, Belvis is alive. He wears a mask and goes by the name Orion. Having previously dealt with pop fakery in the great hip-hop hoax, Finley strikes gold with this wonderfully weird and affectingly melancholy account of how singer Jimmy Ellis found himself at the centre of one of the most bizarre chapters of rock and roll apocrypha. Dismissed as a Presley sound-alike during Elvis' lifetime, Ellis resurfaced in the late 70s as the masked Orion, taking his name from Gail Brewer Giorgio's fictional tale of a superstar who fakes his own death. They say you can't make it because you sound like Elvis, said Ellis, but Elvis sounded like Elvis and he made it. And so, aided by fruitcake conspiracy theories, the emergence of new duet recordings with Jerry Lee and the Sun Records release of Reborn, initially pressed with a lurid Coffin Escape cover, Ellis made his way into the public eye thanks to adoring fans who convinced themselves that Ellis was the king. But with bitter irony, the fame Ellis had longed for came at a price, namely anonymity. Blending audiovisual archive with new on-camera interviews, Finley picks apart this real-life Bubba Hotep tale, offering a dizzying analysis of the madness of the Orion myth alongside a movingly sympathetic account of Ellis's unsung talent. Well, I'm not trying to be just like Elvis I'm doing my best to be make- 